right, folks, 2019 1025R. And as you can see, it's a John Deere, of course. But uh, yeah, so a four year review. And let me tell you right up front, absolutely awesome. I don't have one, not one complaint. Reason I'm doing the review is I have, uh, I had this thing out for the last two days in the snow, up and down roads and hills and that sort of thing right here in East Tennessee. So, you know, the hills are steep. Uh, of course, it has four wheel drive. And the thing did just absolutely awesome, incredible. And, uh, yeah, you can see she got snow all over, but, man, did she do good out there. And so, definitely a workhorse. It is crazy how much power this little thing has in the backhoe and in the front end loader. Now, that's the only attachments I have for this thing. It's all I need. And uh, if you're looking for something around the house, around the homestead, well, this is good. That's for sure. Now, you can get tractors probably a little bit bigger, a little more powerful for not much more money. But, uh, man, you just can't beat a deer, folks. This thing has been incredible. So this thing would be perfect for someone who drives a F-150 uh, something similar to that um yeah because it 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 weighs what with the two buckets on it the front and back bucket i believe it's around three thousand pounds and so uh, uh, just a regular f-150 will pull it with a trailer about a two thousand pound trailer and yeah so you can't beat it and that's what i bought it for i actually bought this to dig up septic tanks and uh, inspect them. Uh, I ended up repairing septic systems with this thing. It'll dig six feet deep. And so I hit the, uh, had no issue hitting the drain fields, the field lines and repairing them. Uh, yeah, so it, it's it's been a workhorse, especially around here on the old home place. So Highly recommend it, especially if you have a homestead, a decent amount of property, a landscape company. I don't think you can really beat this thing if you're a landscape company or a plumbing company. Now, a little different story if you want to pull something behind your septic tank truck. Uh, excavator would probably be the best thing for that, a little mini X. But uh, we have one over there, as you can see. But uh, this thing here, uh, for a plumber uh, to do underground plumbing or to do a, a simple repair, you know, uh, something like that is just awesome. And, and like I said, so easy to pull around. It's not that heavy. A landscaping company for planting trees, hauling mut, mulch, uh, wood chips and that sort of thing. Absolutely awesome. I'm going to tell you, if you're looking at a skid steer and you don't want to spend the money, this is what you want right here. Something similar. Now, Kubota has uh, one, you know, the same size. Uh, this is the John Deere. I know nothing about the Kubota. I'm going to tell you what, though. This thing is very powerful, very fast, and in the snow, in the mud, awesome. Now, the one thing I do not like about tractors, and that's tractors in general, is that they tip easy. So I do not like that. And we live here in East Tennessee, so we're on the hill. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely a workhorse. Just amazing. Good on fuel. Uh, this is the only thing I don't like about it. It, it is a backhoe. And, you know, it's kind of a pain because of the seat situation. You pull this one forward and uh, then you got to jump over here on that. So that becomes a pain if you're digging a long ditch. I've done it before, folks. I've suffered through it. But, uh, yeah. One foot bucket. You can get an 18 inch bucket for this. I wouldn't get anything any bigger than an 18 incher. But uh, I haven't got an 18-incher for this, 
And the only reason why is because, well, we have that Kubota sitting over there in front of the dump trailer. And that has a three foot, a two foot, and a one foot. So, uh, really, we don't do a ton of digging with this anymore. I would, though, if I, if I needed to. It's, it's very convenient. Uh, but you do not want to dig a long ditch with it. <laughs> it's back and forth, back and forth. It's what it is. So, yeah. So, pretty awesome. Now, let me tell you something. You, you can get all sorts of attachments for this thing. Uh, tractor Time with Tim. Uh, go to his YouTube channel if you're interested in one of these and check it out. He 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 has more 1025R uh, videos than any other videos. But uh, you can get all kinds of attachments for these things, and uh, you can, you can get a ride over deck uh, for cutting grass. You just ride over it and hook it up. Uh, what else? All all sorts of things. All sorts of things, so bush hogs and and fl flail mowers and and that sort of thing, you know, grapple on the front of it, you know, that grabs. Uh, so yeah, you can get many attachments now. Not quite the variety you can get with a uh, skid steer, but the uh, difference between this and a skid steer, price-wise, <laughs> is is unreal. And uh, so this is very affordable and uh, very doable, and you can pull it with just about anything. And that's why I got it. That's why I like it. And, yeah, so I have no plans of getting rid of it. It's an absolute workhorse, and we need it. Now, we've got a 1,200-foot driveway that I keep graveled with this thing. Believe it or not, this thing right here, I graveled this whole driveway with that bucket right there. And I had him dump it up at the front, and I hauled it and graveled the whole driveway. It was actually impressive what this thing can do. I've got a video up where I put a, I can't remember the name of the video, but I put an RV pad in. And uh, some French drains and things like that, spring boxes. And I used, of course, I used the excavator and the chipping hammer for a, a lot of that job. But when it came to the gravel, it was this. And uh, you can actually look at my videos. You'll see this thing in action. you got to scroll. Uh, oh, tires are wearing out. I drive it on the road all the time. Uh, you, you've got to scroll down through there, and you'll see uh, it... Uh, this thing is awesome. I, I graveled that whole job with this and did super good. Now, you do have to be careful. It is a tractor. And so if you get a full scoop of gravel, which you can, it'll handle it. I mean, you could have a heaping, heaping scoop. But when you go to lift it up, you don't want to lift it up too high because it's quite scary. So you grab that gravel, leave it kind of low. And don't bring it up too high and you're going to be fine. So I've almost tipped it over a couple of times. One time being that I grabbed gravel and I had that thing lifted way up like an idiot. And uh, that was just user stupidity. And I almost tipped. I mean, I did the, these two these two wheels came off of the ground. Actually, it was the other two. But uh, yeah, so pretty awesome, folks. So front end loader, you can look up the specs on this. I'm not going to go through all that. Look it up for yourself just in case I get something wrong. But I can't remember how much that'll lift, 700 pounds, maybe 500. I don't remember. Uh, but look it up for yourself. And this has uh, some good breakout force. This is a little digging machine, folks. I mean, this little thing, this little backhoe will get it. And that's for sure. Not disappointed. Not disappointed whatsoever. And so this is a four-year review. And this thing is awesome. I, I, I'm telling you, it is absolutely awesome. So, yeah, no no issues. Do I, do I have the key in it? Ah, no key. I don't think I got it on me. I think I got the keys in the truck. I started her up. Hang on. All right, folks. So it got down to minus three uh, this morning. 
and uh, it is about 22, 23 degrees. We want this to go off and watch. She'll start right up. Now, the one thing I do not like about it is that the hood latch to get in the hood is difficult. It's crazy because, yeah, it's just crazy. Uh, it, that's the only thing I don't like about it. She's awesome. All right, we're going to shut her off. We don't... Uh... You can see I am like low, low, low on fuel. And uh, I had this thing out all day yesterday. So it, uh, it, uh, she's low on fuel. All right, folks, that is it. 2019 1025 or hmm, something else. You get a good, good look at it now. It does have a, uh, I do have a 16 foot dovetail for this thing. So you got to get a bigger trailer if you're going to have the backhoe attachment and the front end loader on there at the same time. And it's, I've never had, I've never had that backhoe off. I had the front end loader off one time. And, uh, I think, but uh, that's it. I always use my seat belt and I always have this thing up. So, just in case. All right, folks, that's it. We'll see you.